Welcome back to Life is Strange. We had pancakes last time and now we are in the garage while Chloe is distracting her mother Joyce. So we can look through his computer right now. We a quick. No to... shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. All right. Um. How about Rachel? Or Joyce? Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Happy sweet 18th. Chloe, I'm so happy you were born today. Thanks for bringing me into the family. Stepdad. I don't know. I think it's something nice because I don't know what's here. Nothing to see here. Maybe we do find some interesting things. Except nothing in it. Despite the password. Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. 7171. Yeah, maybe. Mm. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. Probably not. I could try the license number for the password. Yeah. Why would anyone choose this license number? Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Coming back home, a veteran's guide. Oh. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. I still need to find the password to David's computer. Oh, yes. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. To my field angel. Keep your wings up. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. It was an honor having you in the diner. Nice to know that gentlemen still exist. I don't know any gentlemen. Just saying. Love to talk again with you soon. By the way, the name is Joyce if you forgot. That might be a useful password. No. Well, maybe if it's important for him. Possibly. David has been dragging his head around since 2001. That's so many options. Which one? All right, then. Um, army, personal, family. Let's go with family. And now, stepdad, probably not. Um, I don't, I, this one? Oh, shit, Paul. I am Max the hacker strikes again. A Whoa. genius. Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Okay. Let me just 
I better tell Chloe about this now. Uh, it's just one more thing to make her sad. Wait, 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 wait. Mad. So it's not this, but it was this date? I just want to know... Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. This one. Alright, the day sh he was at the diner and got this paper. I see. Now let's look. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Kate Marsh follows the same path to every class. Overheard Kate and Dana talking about supplies, drugs, watched Kate, church group, drugs. No, she's... F Kate... She didn't even go to the church anymore. Tried to talk to Kate about the party. She got upset and ran guilty. This is yeah, so wrong. Cause... Oh, creepy bastard. Hmm. All right. I see. Don't you want to? Whoa. Instead, this is so wrong. Turn it off. Oh, creepy bastard. I mean, do you, you should really. I mean. He can find out if I did that, right? So. Like this? Maybe? I don't know. Should we go outside? Yes. Now it should be fine. I'm back. I'm... Um... I'm back. Hi. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody, like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not. Now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Oh, come on. Would you be mad at me if I sided with David this time? I mean, Chloe is right and I can't, I just 
Stay out of this. I am so sorry, Chloe. Listen! We don't know that David did anything, and nobody has any proof against him. As far as we know, it's Nathan Prescott who's the real threat so far. I would cut David slack here. Oh, would you? How generous, King Max. So suddenly it doesn't matter how shady David has been acting, or that he keeps all those weird files on your classmates, or how you're always going off on how creepy David Enough. is. Enough! I don't want anybody being accused of anything. There's been too much of that crap going on around here lately, and I don't want it in my home today. Well, I agree with that. Now, if you all don't mind, I'd like to forget about work and sit down and eat some of this incredible grub. I have to take a dump. Are you coming, Max? Maybe I went too easy on David for Joyce's sake. Um, no. I don't want to know. I will stay with this. I am very sorry, Chloe. Thanks for letting me Seriously. down again, Max. Why can't you again? just rewind so I don't have to see you defending that asshole? You know, let's try, but I don't think I will be happy with it. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Oh. You're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David! You better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm outflanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Oh shit. First I thought this decision is even better than or less worse, less bad than the first one, but no. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Yes, I did. And then she just I I Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? I don't know about this. Maybe he does just want to help. Ah, uh, come on. I can't live with this. I'm sorry. Thanks again for defending me, Max. But this is my family now. Yeah. Max, I appreciate you sticking up for David. And our family. Even if Chloe doesn't. 
It's better this way. Thanks for letting me down again, Max. Why yeah, can't you just, just rewind so I don't have to see you defending that asshole? Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... I, Sorry. uh... I got this. I'll be right back. <laughs> Don't yes. let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Okay. More nasty shit. Careful, Max. Cujo ahead. Locked. Just talk a little. Deja vu. There's dust on the dust now. Call each other or, you know, something like that might help. Oops. Hello, fisherman. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? I hope not. Could be worse. We could get one of those California quakes. True. Well, I'm feeling a little dizzy now. Um, hope you catch the big one today. I better. Too late to switch careers now. See you around, kid. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. This is so creepy. Cool. Poor birds. Tornadoes, though. snowfall, eclipses, now dying animals. Holy shit. What is going on here? Yeah. Does anybody else notice this? Um, Chloe, what the fuck? I hope she finds a nice T-bone to keep the doggy busy. Yeah. Careful, Max. Cooge locked. Okay. Uh. Here. More pages, and I need to find. The flag um to persons I don't know and an ant? I don't want to go that way. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Ugh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. 
Um, hi. Frank Bauer stars in A Face Full of Beans. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! I, um... <laughs> the fuck? I'm sorry, man. I... I didn't want to do that. I could chug this beer, or dump it on Frank. Beer is gross, so... Turn up the brain to 11, Max. How can you snag Frank's keys? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. <clears throat> In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all- I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you! Um... No, please not. People need me. I <clears throat> mean... The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. You should have jumped, asswipe. Who was that? Blue? White ace? I'm trying to remember... Um... The font. Shit. What are the other signs, then? Seventh sign. The sea and sky will turn black and living things die because of it. Never mind me, officer. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but... He's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, and then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Mm hmm All right, but I guess we will decide what to do and what to find out and Nathan? Nathan and Frank together? That's a bad combo. He's so nervous and I feel kind of sorry for him. Um, we have looked on all of these things already. Last time we we're here, so let's try to talk with people and find out more things and get his keys in the next part. So thanks for watching and see you soon.